Health Dress is an operating foundation here in Silicon Valley, and really we have two purposes. One is a grant making strategy in which we actually give grants to nonprofits in our community. Secondly, we then operate our own programs and we provide direct services to families and to people who really need them in our community. And really the vision of the Health Trust is to make Silicon Valley the healthiest region in America. Our Healthy Aging Initiative focuses on opportunities for healthy nutrition, physical activity, social connections, and support for caregivers. Our goal is to help people of all ages remain healthy and independent. The Health Trust Meals on Wheels program delivers a hot nutritional meal to our clients who are disabled adults or frail elderly that live in Santa Clara County. They live alone, they rarely have family or friends nearby, and can't get out of the home very often. Because of the fact that I have turned 103, it has been very difficult for me to get around like I used to and cook my own meals. So having Meals on Wheels has taken care of that problem for me. What a blessing it is to not worry about what you're going to eat today. We could not do the work that we do in our senior center without support from folks like the Health Trust. We have found that many seniors, especially seniors who don't speak English, are living in isolation on fixed incomes, often get depressed and decline. So seniors can come to a place where they can make new friends, where they get physical activity from line dancing, from Tai Chi, from ballroom dancing and other activities. One of the strengths of our program is that seniors can come regardless of their ability to pay. And the only way that we can do that is with generous support from the Health Trust. Our Healthy Living Initiative focuses on promoting healthy nutrition and physical activity. We work in close collaboration with partners and we focus on prevention and making changes in our environment to reduce obesity here in Silicon Valley. The Health Trust was the first major organization to reach out to Bossy and say, let us figure out a way to partner with you to both deepen and expand your work. They're not just waiting for people to come to them to ask for grants, but they're looking into the community, seeing what's going on, seeing if there's responsiveness, and then saying, how can we help? The acronym is Bay Area Women's Sports Initiative. And what we do is we pair young girls with collegiate, junior college, and high school athletes on the playground. And we run them through a curriculum where they're learning about things while they're playing. We started as a program that wanted to combat obesity and diabetes in our community and what better way to do that than through athletics. Here at SJV Child Development Centers, we provide low-income and single-parent families with child development services in an effort to strengthen and support their families. The impact, the work the uh, Health Trust is supporting us in has been a dramatic impact for our children, families, and staff through health education. Our families are healthier and more prepared to make better decisions on nutrition and become aware of the different conditions that face their families. And what we've also noticed is that now their self-esteem has grown, so they're now able to make better life decisions. Our Healthy Communities Initiative focuses on reducing and eliminating health disparities by addressing their root causes. We focus on getting more people access to health coverage, health education, and the services they need. Latinos Contra Cancer was started five years ago to begin to address disparities and gaps in service for Latinos around issues of cancer. The Health Trust has been a key partner in helping a small agency like ourselves who is trying to address big problems with few resources. I need people who say the work you do is invaluable and we want to support you the best we can to make sure that the work you do continues. And I think that that is the biggest value that comes to me from the Health Trust, that they really appreciate and recognize the work we do is very necessary. And uh, they want to make sure that we can somehow, in some way, continue to do that work. 
The Health Trust Aid Services provides a number of services for people with HIV and AIDS in Santa Clara County, from housing placement to nursing case management, social work case management. We also have a drop-in service available at the Living Center where clients can come in, socialize with other clients, take part in a number of education sessions available. We make sure that that all the components are in place for people to, to make healthier choices and to uh, live a healthier life also. I feel extremely lucky that uh, I have the Health Trust. They've always been very, very supporting and helpful because uh, a lot of people go through phases with this virus, you know, depression, and they don't want to accept it. And these services have really helped me come to grips with it. I feel like a person again. In Silicon Valley, the Health Trust is a champion for health care. They provide a voice and also financial resources to support health care services for those most in need in our community. If there were no Health Trust here, I think the health of our community would be less. We would have sicker folks, we would have more residents who don't have access to the services that they need, and our community as a whole would not be as vibrant as it is today. The Health Trust plays a vital role when it comes to the physical activity and the well-being of so many of our residents here in Santa Clara County. We'll never really know how many people have either stopped smoking, lost weight, now incorporate a physical activity in their daily routine, or parents who are teaching their kids better eating and, and recreational habits because of the work of the Health Trust. But there's no doubt in my mind that the Health Trust is doing that on a daily basis. At the Health Trust, our hope for the future is that everyone has not only equal access to health care and health and wellness services, but really has an equitable share of that. The test of a healthy region should be where are the lowest income, where are the most vulnerable populations. When we can say that they are the healthiest in our community as much as anyone else, then truly we'll have the healthiest region. And our greatest hope is that we really do measure ourselves by those most vulnerable populations. When their health is good, all of our health is good.